for many people, what I'm looking at right now is an absolute nightmare. It's a blank screen, full of empty bars with no music in them, and my job is to put some music in them. I've run out of ideas. This is where the Ideas Hub comes into its own. If you've seen the other video on the Ideas Hub, you'll know that we get it from the View tab, and the Panels, and there's the Ideas panel there. This one here, the first one that's on the list, is the one that we created in that other video. And of course, if you remember, we moved it into the main library, which is why it appears in here. But what can you do with it once you've got it? Well, let's say, for example, my piece over here, let's pick a new key signature. Let's pick the key of B flat major. Put it there. And I've set the tempo and I've set, that I've set it to be swing, but that's all I know. I know it's going to be that set of speed. It's going to be a swing piece. And I quite like B flat major, but that's the only ideas I have at the moment. Well, there's 4,000 different ideas. More than 4,000 different ideas. And I can pick any one of them. Let's say Latin saxophone. And if I click on hold on it, it will load the sound and then play it back to me. But of course this is a swing piece, so maybe Latin is not the best idea. Well, if you look all these different colours here, they're all categorised. So all the rock stuff is all this salmon pink colour. All the reggae ideas are lilac. All the pop ideas are blue. Motown's yellow. Classical, modern, green. Marching band is all so aquamarine, etc, etc, etc. There's a Latin, there's a jazz, there's hip-hop. Groovy is a throwback to another product from Sibelius called Groovy Music. There's Garage, or Garage, however you want, you want to pronounce it. Funk stuff's down there. There are lots and lots and lots of different categories. So let's scroll down a wee second, let's see if we can find the jazz stuff. Because we're looking at swing music, so let's look at the jazz stuff. Well, that there looks interesting for a start. That's drum, jazz drum kit. Let's have a listen to that. And you can hear it's just looping it round and round and round. Well, do you know, I really can't be bothered trying to write my own drum kit part, so I'm just going to take that. And to use an idea, you use these two buttons here. So I'm going to copy it from here. Select where I wanted to put it and paste. And there's my idea in place. The first thing you'll notice obviously is this big coloured highlight round about it. And that basically lets you know when you look at your score what are ideas that you've taken from the Ideas Hub and what are your own. It's quite a nice wee touch. I want more than two bars of it though so I can select it and just repeat it using the R key. Remember we did that in another video. And now when I play it once it loads of sounds. That's all fine, just as you would expect. But there's one or two other wee tricks up, up Zabelius' sleeve. Let's, for example, say I want to think about something for the guitar. Well, I could start and just scroll down here to find some jazz guitar stuff, but there's a search box. So what I want to do is, this is where the tags come in. So I'm going to start doing a search for just words that describe what I'm thinking about. So I want jazz, obviously. So if I just select it from there, that'll narrow everything down now to just ideas that have the word jazz in the tags. Okay, now I want to think about guitar. And these are all ideas that have got guitar in them. If I decide I want to use jazz and guitar, I just get the jazz guitar tags. To that I can add, for example, melodic. 
I might add four four. Why not? You can see there are various other ideas have come up or other suggestions have come up. Let's think um, melodious. There we go. And these are the ideas that have got those words in the tags. There's only one of them is jazz. Let's have a listen to that one. I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to take that. Now notice there might be a problem because look at the key this is in. This is in the key of C. Tells you there. But I'm in the key of B flat. But when I put it in using the same copy and paste system, it puts it into the key of the piece. Which is nice because it means that there's more chance of the idea fitting musically in with your piece. Let's listen to that now and see how that sounds. So you can see you can use the Ideas Hub purely as a, a means to fill a gap. If you're thinking, I have no idea what to do there, maybe you might be able to find something in the Ideas Hub. You could then, technically, do a new search for bass guitar stuff and for electric piano stuff, and basically you could fill the entire piece with just from the Ideas from there. One, where's the musicality in that? That's just copying and pasting. But two, the chances of you finding stuff where it all fits together perfectly are actually quite slim because there's so many things in there. What you're better to do is to just get the rough idea there and then start adding your own things. So I would now look at the bass guitar part. I would record my own bass guitar part into there and then that would tell me what chords I want to use and I can really go and start adding my electric piano. So you, you would use the, the idea sub. Usually you would use it as a starting point for a composition. Or sometimes, if you have everything except the melody, you might be able to find a nice melody in there that would fit along with the chords. So you don't want to use the idea sub purely to copy and paste things into it to create someone else's music, because that's not what it's about. You want to create your own music, but the idea sub can actually sometimes save you quite a lot of time and quite a lot of heartache. <laughs>